Good evening and welcome to Underground Media. Today we have all female artists local from Fresno, California here today. And we have DJ Moonshine. Hello. What's up? <laughs> so tell me, how did you get the name DJ Moonshine? That's actually all the way back from childhood. My real name is Moonera. It's Arabic for bring light, illuminate. And um, they called me Mooney growing up and then somehow they started calling me Moonshine and it just kind of stuck. Okay, and what kind of DJing do you do? I'm pretty diverse. Um, I do a variety of things. I've done Latin weddings. I've done, in the club, I'm more known for hip-hop, R&B, um, top 40 type stuff. But um, I do a little reggae. I love reggae. Um, I like to throw that in every time I throw a set. And um, that's about it. What is your definition of a DJ? A disc jockey. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Um, I learn every day more dynamics to DJing. You know, when you tell somebody you're a DJ, they think you can mix and master. They think <laughs> you can do everything, you know, and I'm a very um, shy person. And so I'm learning to grow as a DJ. I'm not I didn't naturally come out on the mic and I'm learning how to work the mic more and stuff like that. But DJs are very diverse. I mean, there's di um, DJs that produce, there's DJs that rock the crowd, turntablists, there's DJs who, you know, more on the business side, so. And what kind of DJ do you consider yourself? Um, I consider myself more on the business side. I do do club work, um, but my main focus when I started this was my intention was to fundraise for my nonprofit 3Rs group home. I run a um, program there called um, Golden Carrots, and I wanted to raise money for nonprofits. I've done shows for Miracle Girls, um, the Margie Mason Center, and stuff like that. Oh, but nice. I actually just created a buzz and ended up in the club world. Now, do you think being a DJ, a female DJ, is harder in the industry than it is to be a male DJ? Um, kind of. You know, when you first enter the scene, you have to really earn your respect and then you have the other dynamic of everybody trying to get at you and, and not keeping business business, and that makes it difficult. But then, in, then again, you can actually work it for your favor because who doesn't like a hot DJ, a female DJ? Another thing that comes with that is they automatically put you in competition with the other females. And I don't necessarily, I'm, that's not my personality. I love to work with females, and um, I'm not in competition with any female DJ nor any other DJ. I just love to, to do it. It's my I just love to do it, so. Would you ever DJ on tour? Um, it would have to pay me very well <laughs> because I have, I have a daughter, I have two daughters, and taken away from family, it would have to be beneficial for my family as a whole. And if you were able to DJ on tour, who would it be for? Oh, man. Who would it be for? Probably Beyonce. I think she's a dope performer. I think she's an all-around performer. Um, she's very well connected, and um, I just think she's a, a very dope female performer, Beyonce. And you mentioned that you were a blender. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to us what a blender is? Well, I blend music more than anything. Why um, people really expect me to be a turntablist, and that's the art that I haven't mastered yet. So I'm not up there scratching too much and stuff like that. I definitely think there's other DJs that have mastered that art better than me. But I'm going to have clean transitions. You're going to hear the next song coming in. Um, I like to put beats under other songs, stuff like that. And where can the audience find DJ Moonshine? You gotta watch, you gotta keep up, because I'm not in the same spot all the time, but um, I'm working on bringing back um, the Baddest Open Mic. I just agreed to doing that, so that was something, that was my actually my first gig that I ever did, and that's actually what put me on the map with the artists and networking and stuff like that, and that should be back in effect in about a month, so artists, look out for it. Here in Fresno? Here in Fresno. Nice. Um, I do also do Club Vibe. We usually do it once a month. Usually the first Saturday of the month, we're taking two months off and we're coming back. So the location and everything is still up in air, but we're looking for that also. Great. And where is this going to be at, Open Mic? That's the thing that we're still working on. I'm trying to find a good location. I want it to be a diverse crowd. I want it to be um, a true representation of Fresno talent. So I don't want it to be just rap or just country or just alternative. I really want 
a diversity of talent, so. And is there anything that you would like to say to the youth that are interested in DJing? Get into it early. I got into it way too late, and it's definitely something that um, they can use anywhere they want to go. Like, I just adopted a child, and I told her, you should just pick it up, because if you go off to college, that's something you can make money anywhere you go, and, you know, it's okay to feed somebody, but you got to teach them how to feed themselves, and so pick it up. You go to college, do some college parties, pay your tuition or pay, at least put food on you. You ain't going to be eating ramen, you know, <laughs> so. <laughs> DJ. Thank you for being on the show. Is no there problem. anywhere that on social media that we'll be able to look up DJ Moonshine? If you can let us all know. Find me at Ms. M-I-S-S DJ Moonshine. That's my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Also on Facebook, you can find me at Ms. DJ Moonshine. And my personal one is M-O-O-N-E-Y-D-I-N-K-A-N-E. Thank you so much for coming on. And I, you happen thank to Thank you for know. having me, for oh, sure. That, this is really dope. It was a pleasure. And our next guest is Ashley Little John. Ashley Little John. I actually met her at the Baddest Open Mic when I used to have it. She used to come and rock the house. I mean, people just loved her. I'm excited. I'm so excited to interview her and, and let Fresno know Ashley Little John also. This has been great. Thank you for coming on. Thank you and, for having me. Yes, thank you. Hi, and welcome back to Underground Media. We'd like to welcome Ashley Little John. Welcome. Oh, hi. So, how did you get the name Ashley Little John? I have to ask this question. I really need to know. <laughs> I get that a lot. It's actually my real name. And I'm actually the only daughter my mom got to name. And she loved the name Ashley. And so, Ashley Little John is my name. Ashley Little John, my, it is. My real name. Okay, tell me a little, about, a little bit about what you do. I am a singer-songwriter, and I perform, and I'm getting into producing now, and I love it. I love every bit of it. How long have you been singing? I've been singing since I was a little little girl. I've been really? singing since I was little. I wrote my first song when I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. I've been in theater. I've been in a girl group. I've just been strictly about performing and creating. Do you write your own music? I do. And what inspires you to write your own music? Um... Really, a lot of different things. It mm -hmm. can be me just walking around or just looking at people, eavesdropping on conversations sometimes, and just daily life experiences. It could be something from a joyful experience or a hurtful experience. I write for other people as well. So meeting people, talking about what they go through, and you, you create from that. How would you describe your style of music? My style of music um, is definitely inspired by R&B music what I was raised on, but my love for all music and genres is what I put into my own music and with my writing style. So I love all different types of genres of music from rock and roll, alternative country, anything that I can bring into my sound is that what I want to put into my music. And what artists out there inspire you? My biggest inspiration, my musical inspiration is Whitney Houston, ever since I was a little girl. Mm, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Would you, you would love to perform with her, right? <laughs> oh, I would love to have a big picture of her on my wall. I got it as a gift. And oh, one thing I have to ask. Okay, you opened up for Keith Sweat. Yeah. Last year yeah. at the Cell and Arena. Yeah. Tell me how that was. That was an experience that, you know, you have those experiences that you'll never forget. Yes. Like, that's one that I will never, ever forget. It was amazing from just walking in there. I graduated there. And okay. I got to sing on stage there, but being there and singing on the stage as me and in front of my idols, it was I'll Be Sure and H-Town. I got to speak to I'll Be Sure, and I got to speak to G from H-Town, and it was just it was just a great experience. The energy, the the positivity, and the love, and the response from the people was like, if nothing made me want to do it more, that moment. It was, it was everything. I'm getting excited talking about it. It was, it was absolutely everything. Well, I had seen the video um, that you have up on YouTube, yeah. and I had checked it out. And, I mean, I can just see the energy that you were feeling just walking down the hallway, walking up the stairs, oh. walking out there to the audience. I'm getting chills. <laughs> thank you. Thank and we're you. definitely going to be hearing some music from Ashley Little John today. She's going to be performing for us. So definitely would like to keep you all tuned in. 
What do you think is harder in the music industry for a female artist? Definitely being yourself and not being compared to other people who are doing something. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to be who you are and be and represent yourself as an artist. Even me as Ashley Littlejohn, a lot of people say, why you're that name? Why do you want to keep your name? What about a solo name or just this? And I'm like, I want to represent being yourself and being as real as you can be. Yeah. I want to let people know that from a little girl, Ashley Littlejohn wanted to do this. And I want to stay who that, I want to stay true to myself. And I want to promote staying true to yourself and not changing. Yeah. Where's other places that you have performed, either in Fresno or outside of Fresno? I've performed a lot. Mainly I'm working on expanding, expanding myself. But I've been to Las Vegas, different venues. I have a lot of different venues that I love. Mainly Los Angeles. I perform and I have, I'm creating a base there. But I'm back and forth a lot. Okay. And what sets you up from all other female artists? Sets you apart from all other female artists? I think what will set me apart is more so staying true to who I am. I'm not going to change. I have, I'm a very, I'm very right? headstrong about being who I am. And I'm, I've grown to love myself more. And I'm growing a little bit, I'm starting to get more confident in who I am as a person and being more sure the more I grow and the more that I develop. And so probably staying true and I'm not changing. And where do you see yourself in five years? Um, I'm bad at telling the future. I'm bad at even seeing things because I worry about tomorrow. I think of tomorrow as a <laughs> distant future. But I'm going to always work hard. I'm going to strive to be the best and bring out the best in myself. Now, you're going to be performing for us today. Mm -hmm. If you can go ahead and let us know what songs you are going to be performing. I'm going to perform one of my singles called Promises and another best track called Like This. Both distinctly different and... I hope you like it. Now, can you go ahead and let us know, and everybody else out there know, how to get a hold of Ashley Little John and give out all your social information mm -hmm. for us? Well, you can find me on Facebook. I have two pages. I have my personal page and my music page, Ashley Little John, A S H L E E L I T T L E J O H N. And I talk to everybody. I'm on Instagram, Ashley Little John, same as Zach Spelling. I'm on Twitter, A S H underscore little john exactly the same way spelled and if that becomes too hard you can always type it into google ash little john and all of that good stuff pops up so okay and thank <laughs> you so much for coming in and thank you for giving us the opportunity to interview you thank you guys you. are going to listen to ashley little john and she's coming up next check this out Walking in a danger zone Between the lines of my heart alone My soul's half empty Falling apart from all the lies that you told me Holding all this pain inside That I know I still have to fight But it's just Why would you do this to me After I for the love of you, now what am I to do after I give every part of me just like it's hard to see because you're too blind. Open your eyes to see you're slowly killing me. I'm so done holding on to promises. Yeah, yeah. Something I don't want to do Something I don't want to do But this feeling in my heart No, I've completely taken over me Yeah There's overwhelming pain inside That I know I can let it drag me down But it's just so dang hard Why would you do that to me?
Let's have some fun. Welcome back to Underground Media. You just checked out Ashley Little John. Make sure you tune in for more information. Look her up and check her out. I also would like to welcome Callie the Lyricist. Thank you for having me. Another female artist that we have here on Underground Media from Fresno, California. So tell me, I have to ask everybody, how did you get the name? Well, originally I was going by the artist's name, Callie. Um, I actually went and did a performance um, out in Los Angeles where um, a gentleman by the name of Heavy, he had to introduce me. So it was one of those, I'm supposed to introduce this artist as Callie, but no, let's bring Callie the lyricist to the stage. So that's how I got my name. And how long have you been in, involved in music? Oh, man, I've been involved in music since I can remember, um, when I first started out, it was basically instruments. Um, and then as I prolonged more into it, it went from instruments to actually singing. Then I became an actual MC. An actual, and what is an MC to you? It's a person who deliver words basically, you know, with the music, but that actually has, say, powerful 
like messages, hidden messages and stuff within words. What is it that sets you apart from other artists? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I would say that my drive. Um, I have a very strong drive when it comes to music. Um, I believe that there's nothing that can hold me back. Do you ever feel any pressure out there in the music industry to change who you are, to please? No. Um, I believe in staying yourself, um, being who you are, represent you know, yourself to the to a fullest, not really trying to be like anyone else. Um, I believe that all of us as artists have our own unique styles. So um, my thing is just for me to self-express myself through my own music. Okay, and what kind of music would you consider yourself labeled? I am very versatile. Um, I wouldn't really classify myself as one particular sound. Um, I try to touch bases in all areas. There's a few I haven't tried yet, but I'm working on it. Is there any rappers that you have wanted to work with? Definitely. <laughs> and who are those? <laughs> um, I think Shortlist. one of the female artists that I would love to definitely work with would be Debrat. Um, she's also very versatile, and I just think that she's just unstoppable. And could you drop a couple bars for us right now, freestyle? <laughs> <laughs> you put me on the yes. Spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely gonna put you on the spot here. Oh man. <laughs> give about, us a little bit of something. How about I give you something that's not really on any album yet? How about that? Okay. So let's see. Um, <laughs> you know, my music is sometimes <laughs> be kind of harsh. <laughs> Just freestyle something real quick. So how about this? Everybody want to be grown. Why bother? Because we all know that you got the brain of a toddler. See, lame in other words, short brain, not smart. You might as well check around and play hopscotch. Dumbfound, you'll see. You have to know mathematics to hustle in these streets. You can take it from a G like me. It takes 36 ounces to equal a key. But if you push your weight like that, then you're making money. Anything less than that, then your money funny. Game goofy in street terms. Now, you still out there trying to buy a doubler from a man with a perm resembling big worm. But laugh out loud. See, that's funny, too. I'm just showing if you use your brain the things you can do. But even after spit knowledge, some of y'all still lost. But now you have the nerve to say that you're still a boss. Hell, even Cake Boss knows how to measure weight, except he can cut into equal proportions, so it's equal on every plate. <laughs> Wake your game up. You're sleeping like the light off the same reason some of y'all get sprayed that want us to jump off. Now, how many bars is there? Hell, you don't know, so I'm going to keep going, Roger that. That's what happens when you got a brain like an egg loose in the middle. Now you're trying to learn the rules of the game in a nursery riddle. But of course, I learn from some of the best. Mac Dre, Kilo, Seed, the little underdog. You know how it is when I'm rocking with them boss hogs. Wow, <laughs> that was awesome. That was great. Thank you. We also have another talent coming up, Cody Brown. And I would like to ask you, how it is that you know Cody Brown, our next artist that we have coming on Underground Media? Well, Cody Brown is actually my partner, and she is a very dynamic, talented individual. Now, I remember when you first played her song. Now, when I met this girl, let me tell you guys <laughs> that she is the most soft-spoken person. And when I heard her song, you guys will understand. I mean, it's just, it's beyond words for me. So, definitely. Thank you yes. for bringing her on and introducing her to Underground Media. She You're definitely welcome. needs to be seen and be heard. Definitely. And if you can, give us all your social information so that way everybody out there can go ahead and contact you, get a hold of you for... You can find me on... Instagram, Twitter, and SoundCloud at Cali the Lyricist, which is spelled C A L I D A L Y R I C I S T. And my Facebook would be facebook.com 
forward slash is the Cali the Lyrics. And thank you. And I can't thank wait you. for your performance. So stay tuned. Here is Cali the Lyrics. Thank you. Yeah. It's Cali the Lyrics. Representing the no. You gotta realize you're messing with the baddest. See, I make these so-called rappers reevaluate their status. Cause after I touch the mic, you cats will stop believing that the bull crap you do should even be called MC. You gotta realize you're messing with the baddest. See, I make these so-called rappers reevaluate their status. Cause after I touch the stage, you cats will stop believing that the bull crap you do should even be called MC. What's your definition of dope? Cause I think our opinions differ. I guess I don't know what's dope from a viewpoint of a listener. So how it sounds, my new joints, proof points, rhymes, styles, and new noise for a thousand miles in any direction at two points. See, I'm promising air to the Empress the Childish Game. Refrain from grabbing a mic, please experience yourself some shame. And no, I don't sound the same. Yes, I'm a little deranged, but you know it ain't no thing. Cause lyrically, no one can hang. There's always room. Ford, mine a pro, but get off my jock. Can't you see my tires full? You wanna call me out for offending your ears? Just chill. There's a billion other better ways to end your career for real. Like I can't even hear you. You steal this motor mouth. Please don't go that route. I'll show you out. Now peace to all the real MCs. But I'ma show you all my DJ name's ability. But hey girls, humble yourself in some humility. I come in the game, I got stability. You gotta realize you're messing with the baddest. Cause after I touch the mic, you cats will stop believing that the bull crap you do should even be. You gotta realize you're messing with the baddest. See, I make you so for rappers reevaluate their status. Cause after I touch the stage, I got the feeling I already heard the verse. So any turn you take won't be a turn for the worst. That's the truth and I know it hurts. You so bad I have the last laugh even when I rhyme first. I hear that fronting, I hear that talking. I see these girls and I hear the dogs barking. But listen, dog nuts, you ain't a hard target for every bar that you rhyme just a nail in your coffin. And all the other rappers just trying to get next to me. I don't write battle raps, I write eulogies. Now they on the air thinking that they can't be whack because they undefeated in the mirror battling fantasy cats I rap. Grown man get man handle rap. You rap open toes, sandals, and fanny packs. Wanna give with Cali's legacy? I can't see that. But I'll give you a free L plus your sanity back. You gotta realize. Make these so called rappers reevaluate their status. Since after I touch the mic, you cats will stop believing that the bull crap you do should even be called a seed. You gotta realize you're messing with the baddest. See, I make these so called rappers reevaluate their status. Cause after I touch the stage, the bull crap you do should even be caught. But wait, have you figured out what the hell you're doing wrong while you're all on my junk taking words from my songs? But I couldn't keep myself away for the five minutes your song played. You can't rock a crowd cause you lack the arm strength. The kind of cat that I'd rather keep it arm's length. Acting like they hard, but we know that they harmless. Sissies. They be the first to get scared. I have your some bed hugging and squeezing on your teddy bear. You want the top spot, but I'm already there. I know you can't be me, and that ain't really fair. I'm feeling like sea, I can feel it in the air. The temperature's rising, and you can get it there. And now I'll put it there, right in your face. But forget grapes, I'll come spit right in your face. Here's another one. It's your girl, Kelly, the lyrics is. And at this moment, I'm gonna go ahead and say tease up. Uh-oh, lyrics is there, go to popos. Don't trip, let me hide it in your honeycomb. Lyrics is this who she is, bye girl, you know what I gotta get my money on. Later on, like a trust before this, you can play with my funny bone. First, you gotta leave the dummies alone. If it's on, then it's on face down. So with the room, nigga, what? Lyrics is misbehaving the dom, be the bomb. Niggas don't know where I'm from. N O T O W N C I to the T Y dividend. Who nigga run with a buck with the stud of the year that's always G'd up? Then I raise head knee up in the back of the club, fill it up, fill it up. So you wanna feel my back? Yeah. Then you wanna see my black dog? On the under. I 
see you. Gotta get that paper made. Yeah. You gotta get that paper made. Stay away from haters, man. Gotta get that paper. My nature is just a player, man. Little Snicks with a little t pain Cause Barsco gave me a call. You niggas didn't know lyricists the best of both worlds. I don't need none of y'all. Play a hate and stay the hell away. Yep, I'm coming up major. California Stallion. You want a nigga with a tooth of major? Nigga, who, nigga, what? Want a buck with the stud of the year that's always G'd up? Then I raise hair knee up. In the back of the club, fill it up, fill it up. So you wanna feel my back now? Yeah. Yeah, you wanna see my back now? Oh, I'm a rider, not a hater. I call legs on the under. I guess mine, you can get yours too. Let's get it. Let's break it on down, move it around. Look at them clowns, look what I found now. Shaking and taking them up and breaking them down. What well, I'm tipsy now. I guess that I am what I am, but I don't give a damn, so I keep it real. Trying to make a million, always chilling with that handy feeling. Gotta get that player, I gotta make that mail like every day. Let them know that my brother Razzo got a fofo if you wanna play with my paper. Cause nigga, who nigga, what wanna buck with the stud of the year that's always G'd up? Then I raise head knee up in the back of the club, fill it up, fill it up. Let's get it. Welcome back to Underground Media. You just heard Kelly the Lyricist. Definitely look her up and check her out. Up next, we have another local female artist, Cody Brown. Hello, Cody, and <laughs> welcome to Underground Media. I'm very honored and thankful, and thank you for having me on the show. You're welcome. You're welcome. When I heard the music, it was just, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Again, I don't even have words for it. Um, now, my first question, I ask everybody, is okay. Cody Brown your artist name or is that your government name, as we would say? No, not my government name. Cody Brown is my artist name. And how did you come up with the name Cody Brown? Um, Cody Brown is me. Uh, my government name was given to me by a family member, um, so... They didn't even know why they named me my government name. So um, everything that's about me is Cody Brown. Um, I don't even know who Monique is. To this day, um, I ask myself, I say, Soul, how old are you? What's your name? I haven't got an answer yet. But yes, Cody Brown is my artist name. And let us know who is Cody Brown. <laughs> um, Cody Brown um, is love. Uh, it's the forefront of the brand. Um, and it's agape love. No matter what you do to me, I'll always love you. So there's a lot of pain. Uh, you rap and sing as well. How do you choose your production? I don't. Um, I listen to what the instruments are saying, um, whether it was done through a chord or acoustic. Um, I, I call it the gift of the outer ear to be able to hear the waves. Um, I call it magic. Um, so that's how I'm able to deliver the production part of it. Um, so I never know which way it's going to go. I don't know 
if the tomboy is going to come out <laughs> or the soulful or the rock and roll punk rock girl or the prissy or that country girl. Wow, that's yeah. a lot. <laughs> so there's a lot of, I don't want to say personalities. Mm-hmm. I can say um, not schizophrenic or bipolar, but I want to define it as spirits. Um, I'm still learning myself. Um, and who inspires you in the music industry to continue doing what you're doing? Well, I never had the opportunity to have a mentor, but I was raised up in the Kojic Church, Church of God in Christ. Um, I was uh, able to develop experiment, ex- uh, experience um, through Love and Fellowship, Edwin Hawkins. Um, now, with, is that where you started music, was in church? Not so much. It was more, you know... Because my uncle was the pastor, I would sneak, can I sing? (laughs) And before he would get up to deliver the word, you know, he would call me up and I was the one that always cried. So I never finished a song. There was something. Um, I was very off tune, I should say. Um, No one listened to me, but I had a song. But... um, the voice of Cody Brown wasn't developed in religion. Um, I'm not religious at all, mm-hmm. um, nor political. I'm independent. Um, the voice, it developed in time. Um, okay. It's still developing. And we just heard Kelly the Lyricist, mm-hmm. and she had introduced me to you when I was looking for talent here in Fresno. Now, can you tell me what it is about Kelly the Lyricist that inspires you? (laughs) Um, About Kelly the Lyricist, I would say if I didn't know Kelly the Lyricist and I would just hear her... um, I would think she was turned up, she was bad, (laughs) she was um, well-rounded, I should say. But um, knowing her, um, I would think her craft um, is unfolding. She's very talented. Um, She can play the piano. Sounds like it's getting personal. (laughs) But no, uh, Kelly as an artist, you know, she has this energy Mm -hmm. that when she's performing, it's just her own world. There's like no one's there. Um, And I really like that about her, her. Her stage performance, um, she delivers. Mm -hmm. She's not afraid to um, speak in metaphor. She's very metaphor, a metaphor person. And let me ask you, what sets you apart from any other upcoming female artists in the game? Um, I don't believe in separation. I believe that everything has a timing. Um, from the time that I wake up, from the time that I wake up throughout the night to the time that I go to sleep, I always keep in mind that I'm energy. And all these souls were all one. So um, I don't see separation, but I think that as if it was labeled I think that label alone would unite me and hopefully encourage other artists to um, have the same mind frame because it becomes, uh, is it discrimination? (laughs) Are you you (laughs) 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 
<laughs> I'm interviewing. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> you put me under pressure. <laughs> okay, okay, now is there anywhere that we will be able to go out there and search for you? So if you can go ahead and let us know okay. where we can find Cody okay. Brown. Okay. Um, you can find me on SoundCloud um, at soundcloud.com user slash 844-2736. Can I look at my phone? Okay, I just want to confirm that. No, that is fine. Because I'm just a number. Yeah, you don't Um, want to send them to somebody else's. User 863-442748. And we will definitely go ahead and have all the information across the screen for you. (laughs) For everyone out there. Up next, we have Cody Brown performing for us. So stay tuned and check her out. You definitely do not want to miss this. I know she's quiet, but (laughs) stay tuned and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's five o'clock in the morning. And I'm mad at you Screaming, buzzing, biting You don't have a clue I'm hurting them bad You look me in my eyes like I'm crazy Walking away talking about you don't want to hear that Telling me over and over you don't want to deal with it So what does a woman do? What does a lady say? Break up to make up, now we can't sing. Oh, now you're just sick. Oh, now you're creeping. Two wrongs don't make it right. What does a woman do? What does a lady say? What does a woman do? I become your enemy Now the way you treated me So bad, baby So bad, baby Two wrongs don't make it right Oh, now I'm the blame Ooh, I'm going insane It's you What does a woman do? What does a lady say? Break up to break up now we kissing. Ooh, now you're just sick. Ooh, now you're creeping. Long, Feeling right. yourself, now you want me closer Rolling your eyes this way and that way Come back, pull me closer At my climax, question after question Who's on your mind, now you're convinced Patience is slow, no time The truth unfolds Two wrongs don't make it right Close my eyes at night Always on my mind Oh, 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 oh Another minute, another hour I had a long walking, wondering how this could be Alone with me It's just a dream Not meant to leave mm. Am I addicted? When did I miss it? And do you love? How did we kiss this? 
I visualize your body next to mine. You're holding me all tight up through the night. I'm so glad that you're mine when the heat rides. I fantasize. Queen, Queen. no bad. So I'm giving you the things you need. My body's yours. You can do what you please in the middle of the night. If you got the urge, I shed tears because my love is true. Am I addicted? Am I addicted? When did I miss it? When did I miss it? Who do you love? Who do you love? Uh, uh. Am I addicted? Am I addicted? When did I miss it? When did I voodoo? When did I miss this? Food you, food ooh, 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 do love.